Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's video 44 coming at you with another video. All right, so tonight was Chick Hearn night, and I made a whole video about the Kings Laker game. Didn't mention Chick Hearn night. Didn't think we had did Chick Hearn night justice, to be honest with you, with the way we played basketball. But you know, Chick Hearn was the greatest announcer sports I had ever heard. And I rely upon others who've heard everyone to say he's the greatest. I agree with them if they say so. You know what I mean? I, I haven't watched enough sports all over the country, all over the world, to really tell you who's the greatest anything in that regard. But what I can tell you is I listen to Chick Hearn every single night the Lakers play. Sometimes when, you know, they would have games on uh, NBC or what have you, you know, I, I would mute those guys and I would turn on the radio to listen to Chicken Stew, you know, with my mom and and then we would just sit there listening, you know what I mean? And, and you got to understand, Chick Hearn would make it so that you understood what was going on, even if if you were listening to him. You, you He painted a picture in such a way, it, such, such in a fast and efficient way that he could follow every single aspect of basketball and you will know exactly what's going on. No one else that I've seen could even come close to paint a picture in real time of live action. Any sport. Like, you got to understand the skill I'm trying to describe to you. The dude was an artist. Like, you know, he came across as a great guy. You know what I mean? And, and, and of course, I never met him. But to listen to him night in, night out, he always gave off good energy. You were happy to hear from him. You know what I mean? <clears throat> he had a wonderful, wonderful family structure. You know, his wonderful wife, Marge, who was also very visible and very active. Um, you know what I mean? Around Laker Nation. So we all, as Laker fans, you know, growing up in this city, we, we had a st very strong affinity for the Hearn uh, brand, the Hearn family, and, and, and Chicky, just just a person, you know what I mean? And and how he he made us feel listening to him do what it is that he loved to do. And until, you know, and mind you, he was an Iron Man. You talk about people who never missed a game, people like A.C. Green, people who stayed true to the craft no matter what, stayed taking care of themselves so that they could be available to their profession every single night. And we respect those type of people. Chick Hearns was impeccable in that way. He only missed games when he was too ill to be there. And this is over a span of 50, 60 plus years. Like We're talking about a legend who was not only gifted in what he was able to accomplish in, in his art form, but like impeccably talented in his art form but also monotonous in his grind <clears throat> do you understand what I'm trying to express like the greatness that he displayed just from his position was equivalent to the greatness on the floor which is why you see a banner represented up there it's not just because he was just a Laker announcer no this dude was he was he was that great at what he did. That's the thing. And so it's a generation of people who are growing up without being able to experience Chick Hearn as a Laker fan. And I'm telling you, he's more than half of it. Listening to him tell you what was going on on the court. Listening to him give you his coined phrases. Some of the phrases that you say today in regards to basketball. Slam dunk, that's his phrase. You know, there were other phrases as well that he came up with. But, you know, the, his his favorite, you know, basically cutting you off to say the game is over. He would ha he, he had one that that was just amazing, man. <clears throat> and I'll try to recite it if I bet this best I can. But the doors are closed, the lights are out, the eggs are cooling, the butter's getting hard and the jello's jiggling. You know, that that's how we used to say it. And, and that meant the game was over, you know, and, and he was efficient, too. I don't remember one time, not one single time, where he said that and we lost. 
I don't think so. I think he might have said it a couple times a little too soon, and we ended up in overtime, but we still got the victory. You know, that dude, he knew, he knew his basketball. His basketball IQ was also impeccable. That's another thing about him. He knew the game. You know what I mean? You couldn't get one over on him. He wasn't going to play no games. He treated everybody equally. You understand? You know, that's a big part of it. Growing up in the generation that he did, he was never accused of anything other than, you know what I mean? And people loved him. I mean, when, when, when it was his ceremony, time to celebrate his life, you saw everybody show up. All of the Lakers, all of the fans. He had a, a, a tremendous showing, a statue out there in front of Staples Center. And to this day, we still remember Chick Hearn as the greatest announcer ever. So I just want to make sure I made that very clear. Because, <clears throat> you know, he, he made sure he was in our household and, and touched our lives in our household every night for years, years and years and years, man. And so, you know, that's, that's just what I want to do. I want to get up here and, and sing the praises of, Ch of Chick Hearn, you know, Francis Chick Hearn. Because at the end of the day, he was a real shining example for me. As, as, a, as a young black man of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a Caucasian man that I could look up to and, and see from that era and that looked at all of different types of people uh, equally, you know what I mean? And, and made sure that he displayed that and stood for that every night. You know what I mean? He made sure that, that, that we understood that every night. And so that was something that was important to me as well. Um, just that example, you know? So... All of those things, all of those things. I want to sing the praises of, of Chick Hearn. And, and that's what it's all about, man. So thank you guys for watching. My name is BDF44. Uh, sending prayers to, to the family. Of course, you never stop dealing with these things, you know. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, nothing, nothing but love, man. BDF44, thank you all for watching.